Would you like a free stay in a New York hotel? And to make it even better, the government will give you a prepaid credit card for all your spending needs. But does this sound too good to be true? Well, unless you're a random migrant from some random place, I've got some bad news. The headline says that New York City launches a $53 million program to hand out prepaid credit cards to migrant families. And look, New York is a very big state, and it's actually far more expansive than I thought when I was a kid. But these migrants haven't gone to the middle of nowhere. Oh no, because you'll find these migrants right in the middle of Manhattan. And for most of you, this is the place that you would always see in the films. But Sudanese Steve doesn't need to go to the cinema, because all he needs to do is just step outside of his free of charge hotel. It says that the amount on each migrant card will vary depending on the size of the family and whether any income is coming in, according to the details of the contract. It says a family of four, for instance, could be provided nearly a thousand dollars each month, which comes out to thirty-five dollars a day for food. And just like most of your wages, the cards get refilled every twenty-eight days. Because that's a free of charge New York hotel, and a free of charge one thousand dollar prepaid credit card. Honestly guys, just on a side note, this, th this is like something that you would only get after Ant and Deck have spent half an hour screaming at you while you've eaten something unsavory. This is like a top level prize on pretty much any TV show, but random migrants just get this for free. It says if the program is a success, and I, I, I don't know how they're going to be measuring that, I mean the migrant satisfaction must be through the roof as it is. It says that the city will expand it to all migrant families staying in hotels, which is roughly 15,000. And that's 15,000 families, not 15,000 people, because both are an absolute ton, but entire families families are putting even more pressure on the local services. It says that the city is housing just over 66 thousand asylum seekers after 1,500 more arrived last week, and they expect it to cost $10 billion through 2025. So that's $10 billion at a time when the local population could really do with the cash. But is this a good use of taxpayer money? Or is New York City a bit too much for these guys? And why on earth has the UK opened its largest ever migrant camp? So thank you to the 25,040 subscribers, thank you to the channel members, and thank you for checking out this video on screen. This country has gone crazy.